Hello there, this is Kurt from TwistedMac.com and today I'm going to show you how to properly remove the front panel from a white Intel iMac or iMac G5 with EyeSight. The reason I've chosen to do this video is I had a friend today email me and ask me how to remove the hard drive from his iMac. He bought a new one, his hard drive is dead, and he does have experience working on computers. Since he lives a fair distance away, I figured I'd try to find a good video online that explains how to properly remove the front panel and LCD panel. But the problem was, I did find a couple videos, but there are users out there that are showing that you just remove the four screws from the bottom of the iMac and then pull from the bottom or the sides and gently uh, just pull it apart. This is not right. You have to release the uh, two fingers on the very top of the computer on the inside. Uh, or you're risking breaking something. If you break these fingers or heck if you break this panel you're gonna have some issues. Before I do a close-up I just want to show you what, I, what I'm talking about with these little metal fingers that hold the, uh, these panels on. So here I happen to have the panel from this computer. If you flip it around you can see at the top top of each corner there's these little metal fingers so as you can see they just bend but what's happening is on the inside of the iMac there's a little plastic post and these grip onto that when you're pull, if you pull off from just the bottom you're gonna break these if you break these you're gonna have a loose frame rather panel on your computer the goal is with this little tool just a plastic card um, I made this one. Uh, you can buy them online. They're Apple Access cards. They go for about twenty to thirty dollars. But if you look in the description, I'm going to include a link as to how to make one of these. You can make them out of a spare gift card, spare credit card, anything in your wallet. So anyway, check that link out and I'll show you how to make one of these for free. So back to this. What's going to happen is the card is going to go up the back side of the computer and push against these just enough to release them from the uh, little plastic post on the inside of the computer. Once this has been done on both sides, this is when, and this is only when, you're going to finally pull out from the bottom slightly and then pull it out from the top as well. Again, if you don't do this properly and release it from the top, you're going to break something. For this demonstration, I already have a computer that I've already taken apart. I'm going to replace the power supply, but as I'm waiting for the part, this is going to act as a good example as to what's happening on the inside of the computer when you're taking the panel off. So first step, you're going to remove the, uh, the memory. So if you come down to the bottom, what you're going to do is you're going to remove this panel. Don't worry about the screws, they're going to stay in there. Remove your memory, and then from each side, one screw, and then two in the center. Uh, now, there's two different sizes, so remember which ones go where. Next step, don't worry about uh, pulling this bottom panel yet. The next step is going to be to release the uh, metal fingers I was talking about. Again, one each side of the corner. Now, if we have a look up in here, hopefully you can see, you can see what, uh, what those little metal fingers are grabbing onto. So what you need to do is you need to disconnect those first before you actually pull off the panel. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we've removed the memory from the bottom of the computer, as well as the four screws, this is where we're going to start on the top. This is where you're going to need that plastic card. Again, check the details and uh, I'll supply a link as to how to make one of these. Again, from a spare credit card, gift card, and free. Anyway, so what we're going to do, turn this computer around. And if we have a look at the back here, we have an open channel. This is where this card's going to slide in. So what you're going to do is at the end of each, each end here, you're going to slide this card up. And what you're going to do is you're just going to push it up. And you're going to feel a little bit of uh, spring to it. So what's going to happen is it's going to push up against those fingers. So turn around here. When it pushes up, slightly pull on the uh, the display panel itself just very little and as you can see the computer will come out um, from the back side here so 
All you need is a little bit of a gap. So pull the card out, and then you're going to work on the other side. So again, I'm going to do it over here. Again, the card's pushing up against that metal finger. And done. So as you can see, a little bit of a gap on each side. Now that we've gone ahead and done that, we've released it from the top as well as released it from the bottom. Next step, with the, uh, the memory handles here, you're going to push them up. And this is where you're going to go ahead and just lightly pull from the bottom and then pull from the top. And this is where the panel comes right off. One thing I want to point out, when you're taking the display off the computer, you also got to be careful of the two cables that are at the very top of the iMac, so right in behind the eyesight. So if you go over here, I'm just going to turn this around. And when the panel is being pulled off, there's going to be two cables right here. Now, you got to be careful. You do not want to rip them out or, well, you're not going to have an eyesight. So, again, two cables. They're just attached up on the inside here. So you're going to disconnect those, and then you can safely pull off the, uh, the panel off the computer. Okay, so here we have the, uh, the full computer. I put the display back in just to give you an idea of what it looks like uh, with the panel off. Uh, I'm going to explain in another video how you go ahead and pull out the display, but for now, in this step, just how to get the front uh, panel off without breaking it. So, if you go ahead with this, please be careful. Uh, please use the uh, correct tools. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at carter at twistedmac.com or visit me at twistedmac.com. Thank you.